Don't ask me where I found a rolling pin. Don't ask me why the office has mood lighting. What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red, the game where we get to collect up all of YouTube's most popular trendy clickbait and then largely ignore it. And I'll have you know that I'm only a little salty that my wallet would be a whole lot fatter if this was episode 98 of Among Us. We're gonna start things off with a level called Being on Venus, where it looks like there's not a whole lot going on. Which I guess is what you would expect. Like, I don't know who paid to send me here, but I know almost nothing about this planet. The only thing I learned while in school was that boys go to Mars to get candy bars, girls go to Venus to suck fat drinks. But that might just be like sugar company propaganda. I mean, wh what do I know? You're the astronaut. <laughs> and on a completely unrelated note, I don't suppose you have any women on this planet, do you? <laughs> I might not have gotten the proper training to use the space machete, but you don't need to be an S-tier astronaut to know that you shouldn't leave the door open on the habitat. <laughs> You're gonna let all the air out, and then how are we gonna do all of our weird robotic what stuff? Oh, we do have a female astronaut. And even though you're on Venus, you're busy with Uranus. The irony, I'm telling ya. Listen, guy, if you're waiting in line to get a nose job, you should really let us clean the machine first. I know the two of you guys are real busy, but is now a good time to ask about the seven foot two alien on our front lawn? Like, was he always there? I'm sure somebody must have seen him. Along with the incoming army of Cyclopses? Cyclopsi? I didn't go to space school or grammar school. Alright, just make sure that, that machete is nice and sharp. We might need it. Can you please stop doing whatever you're doing, ma'am, and watch my back? I'm gonna try to make first contact. Hello! Friend or... Oh. Oh. It's like a giant space monkey? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a dick move, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, you deal with the Cyclopses. I'm gonna see if there's something in the tent that I could use. Maybe, there we go. Space Katana, I'm ready. Hello there. I don't know if I should be afraid or turned on. There's clearly a male alien and a female alien because the male alien isn't wearing a shirt and the, the female's got like come hither eyes and pouty lips and oh, I, I don't need you. <laughs> I might keep one of the women around, see if we can repopulate the planets, but uh, preferably one with the face. Oh, come on, God, really? I go and say that I'm gonna bang an eight-eyed alien and I've offended God. Well, now I've stabbed him in the head. That was a lot easier than I would have expected. <laughs> okay, who's gonna be the one left behind? I want one that's preferably not damaged. Okay, maybe uh, you, you're gonna be, oh, you're a little damaged. And we're gonna have to, Jesus Christ. Okay, they can teleport, that's a problem. Let's just have you sit down. <laughs> And they said I wouldn't know how to handle a space blade. Well, who's laughing now? I, I guess it's just me, because I'm the only one left. <laughs> Unless... I don't suppose you have pouty lips and come hither eyes, because we're gonna need to get to reproducing. If you are alive, you might just be a big old statue. Nope. Uh, well, kind of a big old statue. This is a mistake, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, Blade's not the greatest against stone. I'm not sure what I just came across, but I'll take it. Maybe it belonged to God? We'll find out, I suppose. See if it does anything more to you. That's not bad. Maybe. It's, it's like stabbing a rock. Honestly, there's... <laughs> Very little feedback and probably no effect. It's really starting to feel like I'd have better luck killing a sumo wrestler with a toothpick. Uh, oh, I killed it! 20 out of 20! So as soon as I kill Venus's overlords, then I get to leave the planet? 
even though I, I stabbed God in the face and killed the locals and my friends, I probably got banned from Venus. <laughs> Whatever. There's something about a rough and tough biker wearing jammies that's really off-putting. But our next level is called Nyctophobia Descent. Nyctophobia being the fear of darkness, I'm pretty sure. And we've got this guy who's even got his feet and his hands in his little onesie. He's doing a bad job falling asleep. Maybe because the light is still on? If I take this, are you gonna have a heart attack or what? It's definitely dark in here, and he is like in his 30s. You know, he had a beer and played some games and stuff like that before going to bed. <laughs> All right, night, night, buds. I, I, I'm just gonna go and holy crap, is it dark? I don't know what I was expecting from a level called Nyctophobia, but still, <gasps> is this a house? It's so hard to tell. That's locked. Okay, locked. Locked. I kind of want to do my trick of throwing it ahead to see. Oh, okay, we have a bloody door. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, good. We have a room that isn't locked. Uh, I guess I'm just going to make food. What's going on over there? Take a look. Just a TV. Oh, uh oh. Chair? Not now. Now is not the time. I would love to... It's not plugged in. Of course it's not. This is... Useless? I'm gonna say useless. Let's just go through the... Bloody door. What? Did you guys hear that? Something just happened behind us. Oh. Okay, um... Looks like Mr. Jammy's got blended. That's concerning. Oh, I just don't know how to walk through doors. <laughs> All right then, now comes the descent part of Nyctophobia Descent. Maybe this is all just a completely normal house and there's nothing weird going on here. That guy could have blended himself, we don't know. No telling what people are into. Bridge just hanging out down here. Oh, there's light. I like light. Can I please get over to whatever that light is? I don't even care. Should I take a weapon? Oh, no. Decisions. Oh, crap. Wait, the light actually went out. Oh, how is that even possible? All right. Oh, I thought I was falling there. Oh, no, never mind. Not falling. <laughs> These levels freak me out. People are so damn clever. Oh, I can't get over that. We're just gonna hug walls. How about that? I need to hug something. Uh... What is that? Something red. Okay. Button? That do it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that opened it. I said that I like light, so... The light will go out. Mm. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. At least I can kind of see the end of the hallway, so I know there aren't any spookums waiting for me. That's the thing. I know that there's at least one thing here, because it said one enemy remaining. Question is, where and what? What's waiting for me in the darkness? Oh, it's a car. I'm in the garage! Jesus Christ! Okay! <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. For a second there, I thought it was just a prank. I'm gonna broke in the guy's nose, but no, he is premium spookums. I literally jumped so hard there. I should not be hitting you with my lantern. I kind of need it. Are you just gonna go down or I'm gonna get in the car and take off? I, I haven't got all day to dig in the middle of your skull with a light. <laughs> These freaking jump scares, man. My mouse just goes off the charts. Our final level for today is called the Soda Factory, where it looks like they make bottles of soda. Okay, nothing particularly weird about that, except if you've seen any of this series, you'll know that I have played plenty of factory levels, and every single time, it's people. You're turning people into soda, aren't you? 
I'm not seeing anything on the label to indicate that it's made of people, but then again, you probably don't want people to know about that, do you? It's a bit of a trade secret. Well, unfortunately for you, there are advertising laws, so I'm gonna have to inspect this place. Make sure everything is up to code. Make sure everything is ship shape. Sir, how's your work day going? Where did your hair go? They turn it into soda? You can tell me. You know where to find me if need be, ma'am. What's your phone number? Y you can tell me. You know where to find me. Definitely something weird going on here, and it's not just my attitude. We've got buttons. Buttons do not seem to work the TV. TV is not operational, huh? Weird. They have a surprising amount of security standing around for a soda factory. Like, who's gonna break in here and steal a pallet of grape soda? You can't just walk out with it, plus it's the worst soda. Oh, locked. Well, that's definitely suspicious, and the fact that it doesn't have doorknobs. Listen, you guys are gonna have to let me in somewhere. I, I gotta go back to my supervisor with a write-up on something. Come on, work with me here, folks. Just because I'm trying to expose your unionization arguments. Okay, not really what I'm after. I'm looking for refrigerators full of people. Nope. All right. What exactly have we got going on here? Having a whiff, huh? Does it smell like fluffles? It's gotta be something, right? I, 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 there's no way this is clean. I refuse to believe it. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep pressing buttons until something happens. Like a secret door reveals itself? Maybe? No? Or I just start Blair witching in the corner? Listen, I can look like as much of an idiot as I want. There's nothing they could do. What, are they gonna sing a song, have a bunch of Oompa Loompas come out, try to escort me from the premises? I don't think so. I have every right to be here, so you're not gonna stop me from going in here. Ooh. What do we have on the next floor? The boss, huh? Yeah, I'll have a word with him sooner rather than later. I'm much more interested in production rather than the offices at the moment. So what's going on behind uh, this door? Any people? What are these? W w what is this, grapes? You trying to tell me this grape soda is made of grapes? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Am I being an idiot? Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna take your grape tenderizer and, and keep looking for people behind locked doors. I'm just gonna assume that you guys keep all of your human sacrifices behind these ones. Yeah, that, that's what's happening here. The, the grapes are a distraction. Turns out security did not appreciate me running around with a tenderizer, so I, I put it back, but only because it's the rules. Not because you're like six foot four and kind of terrifying. Well, I'll be damned. They even have public restrooms. Like, I, I I, can't believe that everything is legitimately up to code. There, there's gotta be something wrong. There, there's something that I can report back on. Oh, I've got you guys now. Not enough clearance to open the door. You can't even use this. I am sorry. I was going to say, if you can't open the door, then who can get in there? But it's because it was occupied. Yeah, that's my bad, Fred. Don't judge me, okay? I'm an inspector. I'm allowed to go into the women's restroom and check all of the stalls. Okay, that one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. And that one... What is happening? I don't understand. Fluffles should be sitting on one of these toilets. They should be turning people into drinks. Like, I, I'm clearly missing something or this is like a very unique level in that it's not like all the others you guys are just like work in the server room that that's it again more security Wait, what is like the boss is an alien right is he gonna be like a oh is the boss a grape yeah he's kind of a grape in the way that they're making grape soda the grape is artificial because he's not real. He's just a puppet. So, who is running this place? 
<laughs> Everywhere I go, I have more questions. Like somebody has to be producing all of this soda. Oh, I actually got it open. Holy crap, that's a lot of soda money. <gasps> I mean, if you're not gonna move, then you're not gonna mind me taking just a little bit or a lot. Oh no, uh, probably should go with a bar of gold, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm just taking this as my bribe? Yeah, this is my bribe, you guys got a great review, don't worry about it. And to probably nobody's surprise, they are not pleased about me taking their soda money. Fortunately, I found a way out. Uh, maybe? Why do they have the entire area walled off? That's not good, oh crap. Uh, okay, they have a soda store next door. That's cute, but I kinda need to leave. How does this happen? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna start beating people to death with a bar of gold. Oh, nice apple. No! Oh, crap. Okay, well, bar of gold isn't as strong as I had thought. Ow! Maybe I can uh, hide in here? That actually work? Okay. Let's just take this nice and slow. Oh, oh okay, they're back onto me. If I could find, like, a, a decent weapon that isn't a sugary drink, then maybe I can get out of here somehow, possibly. This is still like a fully functioning factory and everything. I don't know why I'm hardcore parkouring all over it. Oh, is that the exit? You just leap through there? I should probably beat the crap out of people first though. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> Make it look like somebody really got in here and messed stuff up. That way I won't be the one to get blamed. I'm also leaving empty handed. Other than with my life, that's kind of a big bonus sometimes. <laughs> I very rarely get to win levels. It feels good having ran around and seen everything without dying. Can I borrow that, please? Can I maybe, could I, uh, excuse me? Could I just, uh, oh my god, okay. This is getting real difficult because people don't drop the thing when I kick them. There we go, all right, thank you. Stab in the face, stab in the face, stab in the face. I wish stuff would stop breaking. <laughs> Could you guys work on making weapons instead of soda? Is that a possibility? Could I beat someone to death with the soda? Man, I'm really happy that these aren't lethal. <laughs> Good old security tasers, making sure that people just crap themselves and that's it. I think I'm good to go. I think I'm ready. You can uh, get missed by that, screw it, I win. I was gonna end things off there because I didn't really have it in my heart to beat the ever-living turds out of all of those innocent soda workers, who apparently were innocent, by the way. I didn't find anything that's still blowing my mind. But I figure we gotta do some fighting. We gotta punch people into meaty little cubes or it wouldn't really be an episode of Paint the Town Red. So I came to a level called Office Brawl, where I work in an office and I've decided it's time to brawl. I am tired of my coworkers and all of their silly little ties and their bleached tipped hair and their neck beards. I've decided that it's time to just throw down. Don't ask me where I found a rolling pin. Don't ask me why the office has mood lighting. All that matters is that we have rage. Is this some kind of wrench office? I don't understand. Security, you're doing a great job, by the way. Keep it up, really killing it. Speaking of killing it. <laughs> why, why are these wrenches so good at making heads explode? Ow, ow, okay. This is actually gonna be a little tricky. There are a lot of people and not a lot of space for my rage cage. Look at my number one dad mug. Did you like it? Oh, my kids are gonna be pissed. New plan, the broom closet is my rage cage and anybody who comes into my rage cage gets swept out? Who brings nunchucks to work? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Part of me really wants to look around and find a red key because they might keep some kind of super powerful weapon in Karen's office, I, I guess, but Part of me also knows that there is so much happening in here. Look at this place. There's just crap everywhere. You can't move around without getting hit by someone. And you really don't want to mess with some people around here. There we go. Okay, yeah. New rage cage is going to be behind this desk. 
people are gonna have a hard time getting in here, especially considering I now control the spiky bat. Oh my God, the spiky bat was absolute crap. <gasps> what do you mean? No, now I'm just getting cornered. I don't like this. You guys are bullies. I gotta go find the key. Can we maybe take a minute to appreciate the work that the janitors did in here and the work that they're gonna have to do once I'm done? Like, look at this place. Not only did they wax the floors, but they also waxed the ceilings and the walls. Everything is so shiny. It's almost distracting and they're, they're di okay. Yeah, you know what? This is pissing me off now. I'm getting hit way too frequently. There's just nowhere you can go. There's no room. The place is literally falling apart. I think meat just fell from the ceiling. Was this a gym? Okay, we got a gym, yeah, oh, I like gyms, because they, they come with lots of stuff to hit with. Perfect, great, wonderful. Just gonna keep picking this stuff up out of the air, and you see, hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, calm down. I've got smite ready, the question is, where do I want to use it? I'm thinking if I get tagged by a broom again, I'm gonna die, and the game is gonna crash. All right, well, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. I really like exploring in this game and making dumb jokes and then mixing that in with fighting, but sometimes I feel bad when the fighting gets left out, which is why I wanted to play a level like this at the end. But man, oh man, is it ever brutal to try to take down a hundred people. You know, when I, I can hit them with a dumbbell, and it's like a sneeze, but they hit me with a push broom and it's like a bomb. But if you guys want to see more Paint the Town Red, as always, be sure to leave a like the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to invade v Venus. I almost said invade anus again soon. Whatever. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.